My name is Muhammad Abdul Afiq. And my name is Noor Aisha. We, we are, are from, from MRSM, MRSM Sultan Azlan Shah. Food security is impacted by climate change. More than 850 million people are extremely hungry and 64% of it are found in Asia. Food production should be increased by almost 50% by 2050 to feed a population that could reach 9 billion by then. Farmers and agronomists have to adapt to new technology and innovation, such as the utilization of agricultural drones to maximize the production. The use of pesticides and fertilizers are very important in crop yielding, but manual spraying of this could result in some chronic illness, such as arthritis, asthma, cancer, watering of eyes, and can also cause to death due to excessive consumption of harmful chemicals present in them. The COVID-19 pandemic has resulted in the critical need to maximize the cleanliness of public spaces and to disinfect these areas regularly to reduce the virus transmission. Agricultural hexacopter drones help to guard against the spread of COVID-19 pathogens. The hexacopter drones are equipped to spray chemicals. Their spraying capabilities have been adapted to disinfectant duties. During the pandemic, the need to disinfect large areas was presenting a problem for public health officials. Using handheld spraying equipment deployed by ground crews threatened the safety of personnel. It was time consuming, so workers spent a great deal of time potentially exposed to chemicals and pathogens. The major objective of this pilot project is to custom design a functional prototype of hexacopter drone DRX-2022 equipped with an efficient spraying system and also incorporated with payload arrangement. The spraying mechanism can be triggered by using the remote control. Figure 1 illustrates the complete block of the system. The resulting system was capable of achieving the following a flying time of at least 10 minutes covering a distance of 2 km when operated in automatic mode with the ability of carrying 500 ml of payload at takeoff and delivering a spray mist at a flow rate ranging between 20 and 25 ml per 30 seconds. The choice of hexacopter drone frame plays a main role in the terms of physical strength and weight. In the proposed idea, the frame use consists of PCB board and landing gear with carbon fiber material for less weight, more durability, and strength. The framework is shown in figure 2. The selection of motors plays a vital role as it decides the amount of payload the drone can lift with stability. The choice of electronic speed controllers should be compatible with the BLDC motors and the flight controllers. According to the motor ratings and amount of thrust produced, we can decide the payload weights. PCB is mounted with all the six arms of the hexacopter drone. The bottom PCB is mounted with landing gear and also attached with the squishy pad, which will act as shock absorber and hold the battery mount. Finally, in the drone frame assembly, both top and bottom PCBs are aligned together. Motor and electronic speed controller mounting. The six BLDC motors are mounted to the six arms of the frame. There are three clockwise and three counterclockwise motors which will create net forces acting on a body should be zero. The speed of the motor is regulated using an electronic speed control system ESC. This ESC provides electric dynamic braking to the system. It also takes care of reversal of direction in the system by reversing the direction of rotation of the motor. The six ESC are soldered to power distribution board. PDB, the output wires which are to be connected to the BLDC motors. There are also digital pins in each ESC connected to Pixhot to control the speed of the motor. Controller mounting. The flight controller is mounted on top of frame exactly in the center using anti-vibration shock absorber which will decrease vibrations in flight controller during landing and takeoff time. The safety switch is connected to the controller and it is used to enable or disable the outputs to motors. A buzzer or tone alarm can be used to audibly indicate status changes for the vehicle. The digital pins of ESC are connected to the fix hub following the motor layout. The receiver is connected to the RC pin of fix hub. Six post connector of power module is connected to the power port of flight controller which will supply for the controller. The frame with flight controller mounted is shown in figure 7 and 8. Transmitter and receiver. The receiver used is of 10 channel and to which Pixhawk is connected. Initially, transmitter and receiver are connected. 
The transmitter will send the signal to the receiver which is present on the drone and it will send signal to the flight controller. Here, the flight controller will process the signal and send it to the electronic speed controller or ESC so that speed of the motors is varied. Spray assembly to drone. The spray system consists of a DC pump, tank, controller, nozzles. Spray system should be attached to the drone in such a way that the drone is stable even for attachment. When the controller receives the signal from the user and it will turn on or off the pump. In on condition, the pump gets turned on and sprays the fertilizer through nozzles. Drone attached with spray system. Installation of firmware in Ardu Pilot software. All the sensors and instruments used are calibrated to ensure accurate outcomes. The complete hexacopter drone system and the controller are thus calibrated against a standard model. The various calibrations performed in drone system are 1. Frame type 2. Axel calibration and 3. Compass radio calibration and 4. ESC calibration and their illustrations are shown in figure 12. Significance of drone technology for achievement of SDGs SDG number 3. Good health and well-being DRS 22. Put in safer environment by reducing the rate of infectious diseases SDG number 8. Decent work and economic growth DRS 22 is an eye in the sky for agriculture simplifying process and creating jobs of better standard SDG number 9. Industry, innovation and infrastructure DRX 22 equipped with high resolution camera can process data about major disaster and help to make objective decisions. SDG number 15 Life on land DRS 22 reduce the use of chemical spraying and thus benefits animals and plants.